I feel like we should excavate the part down there and make it all flat. Good morning, guys. This is Missionary Experience. We hope that you guys can watch the whole video and get an idea of what we're doing today here at Agua Viva, a couple of other projects over there as well at uh, R1T1 and part of the block project that we've got going on today. We got a lot of delivery that has been done over the last couple of days. So we'll see where all that's ended up. And uh, for right now, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the um, property down here where we built uh, a house last year, or actually early this year. And we started it last year. We started it really getting into it uh, earlier this year. So right here next to it, we're gonna be building some intern houses so that when we have our interns, we're gonna be basically scanning all of this out right here. So we're gonna, me and Christian are basically gonna map this out right here, this whole space, and we're gonna just measure it and see how much space we actually have because we've gotta get two houses in here, 30 feet by 30 feet-ish. And if it's not level enough, which it's not, we're gonna have to bring the Bobcat in and plan for some leveling as well. I can tell you right now, it's not level. It's probably a good six, seven feet difference from where I'm standing to the fence line. So we're gonna have to um, talk about that. That's what we're gonna be doing here for the next few minutes. We're gonna be drawing up some plans here as well on the iPad to get some drawings and figure out the best way to build it with the drains and power and everything. So that's what we're gonna be doing for the next five minutes or so right here before we go check out some other spots. So here's the power I was talking about. We couldn't see it because we were in the woods, but right here we could basically come down to each house from that pole, which is really needed. We need it bad. So we don't want to have to rerun power and everything. So all of our, you know, we might as well use what we have and drop down into there as well from that line to the houses. We're gonna, we're gonna go back up to the top part of the property and uh, look for some rope, uh, maybe some string and just start kind of squaring it off and just kind of get an idea of what all materials we're gonna need because of the slope and everything. It's hard to get a good number of how much material you need because everything's gonna depend on that slope as well as far as cost goes because that, that 30 degree angle is gonna be a little more expensive but that's how it is here in Honduras. You can never give a perfect budget because you never know. Woo, I got my breath taken away from me climbing up that hill. This is a little steep climb. So basically, if you see from this road down to the bottom of the fence line, I'll say it's probably a good 30 feet drop. So I just walked up roughly 25 feet uphill. Got my little wind knocked out of me. <laughs> So this is gonna be a lot harder than we thought it was gonna be because our elevation to the back of the house is up over the fence line. So we gotta figure out how to basically dig a lot of that out without making it look so bad and without investing so much money in a wall back here to lift it up. So it's gonna be a little bit of a work. Really, we were just doing this mainly to figure out a budget. We're probably gonna have to budget on the higher side due to the fact that we've got a lot of backfill up to here, basically. So that means a big rock retaining wall on this side so it doesn't slide out, fall over. Yeah, so right now we're, we're gonna leave this the way it is. We kind of have an idea of what the slope range angle is. So now we kind of have an idea of what materials we need. We're gonna actually go and see how we're doing up there with the blocks. Uh, we are moving blocks to one of our first block houses. So right now we're gonna take me and Christian and, and you guys all the way up to go see the site of where the blocks are gonna be going in its first house. So we're really excited about this because this is a, also a house that we're making for our cooks. So she's gonna be the one that's getting the, the blocks uh, as more of a, a test and a trial run for the blocks. So if you all know Maria, who is our cook at Agua Viva, she's, y'all know, hands down, one of the best cooks in uh, this area. So she is gonna be receiving a house along with her family. So we're really excited. Let's go up there and take a look at that. 
the house that we're gonna be making, Mark Connell and uh, some friends of theirs, Julie and Alan, have uh, wanted this project. So we're helping assist with making the blocks. And it looks like you can see across the street here that we're still moving some of the blocks. We're about to go across here. We gotta wait for some cars. No, we don't, let's go. So right here is kind of muddy. And we got a lot of people up here as well. I'm gonna go put this in four wheel drive so we don't make a ton of ruts. All right, so guys, we got all of the blocks up the hill uh, just now. I think we have one pallet left. So right now we're gonna go show you how it all ended up. And we have pretty much made a pretty good little mess. It's all like muddy in a lot of spots. You can even see down here, it's all wet and everything. So we gotta walk up here and show you guys where we're at with this house. The other day we leveled it out made it as flat as we could with all the rocks. They had like boulders like this. There's tons of boulders up here. You know, there's just a ridiculous amount of boulders. So we're behind the Bobcat right now, trying to get up to the site. It's a little ways back here. We had to bring all the blocks, roughly 4,000, 5,000 blocks, somewhere in there to the site. And we've just now got all of them up here. I'm trying not to walk too fast because we got a Bobcat in front of us. We got some that were damaged. You guys can see they took a beating, a couple of them. It's probably due to the forks and the pallets getting banged up real hard in the transportation process. So to get it up here was a, a difficult build, a difficult transportation. You can see all of our blocks right here that we've got. I think we got 21 pallets or so. So you guys can see right here, they're all spread out. We got a couple behind you and a couple up here as well. Let's take you up here where the, the site is. So this is gonna be where the house is right here. I think it's gonna be about 25 to 25 feet long, wide. I don't really know how high yet. I don't have all the floor plans of what they're gonna end up doing, but this is the blocks that they ordered. And we're gonna, we're basically be putting all of that right here. So we're, we're pretty excited about it. We had to move all these, all this rock out of the way and they may even expand some more to one side or the other but as of right now we've done our job and that's uh basically where the road ends but we want to stay connected with this one uh, because it is for our cook uh, as far as you guys know you guys know maria and her family this is all going to be where they're going to stay i guess where they're going to live and so uh, like I mentioned earlier, there's some great dear friends of theirs that are gonna be helping. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people involved in it as well. Uh, as you guys know that we wanna be a part of the build as well and help her any way we can as well. So we're looking forward to it. We did this part so far, so we can't wait to see uh, how much farther this is gonna go along. I think they're gonna start this probably like next week uh, due to some of the uh, issues that some of our friends were having and they, uh, we have, a, we have a funeral to go to tonight as well. I don't know if you guys know uh, Cesar, uh, but his mother passed away. So we were trying to um, go to his, his, well, we are gonna be going to his mom's funeral and uh, just honor her and uh, just try to, try to take things a little slow just because of all the things that we're having to go through right now. The loss is, is, uh, is pretty tough on everybody. So we're gonna, um, basically park this the way it is right now and we're gonna go ahead and go back to r1t1 and see what we're doing with our other projects Let's get it. so we're gonna take a few of the blocks that broke back to the truck i think there's a bunch more but i can only carry two at a time <laughs> we'll get the other ones later All right, so we're back at R1T1. You guys remember from the last video, I told you we're gonna put this uh, this cover up. This is how it turned out. It looks real nice. 
You guys can see it's all shaded in, protected from the rain. So uh, right now we got some stuff stored under here, but as soon as we find all of the locations for everything, we're gonna be able to put dirt in here. We had a huge rain last night. So you guys can see all this is just muddy and uh, this is gonna take a couple days to dry up probably. But I do wanna show you guys the carpentry shop and what's going on on the inside. So let's go over here. Bien, bien. Look at this, guys. So we got a whole bunch of beautiful cabinetry going on here. So if you guys ever want to order anything like this, we can make it. We have the skill set to make this, which is really cool. You guys can see. Está cerrado ahorita. Ah, oh yeah, these are the special kind. They're good. So that is really cool. See that? So they lock in, that's really nice. So we're really excited we got that done. We got this project, it's done. We just have to do the delivery. Uh, this is for a king bed. We've got him making a project over here. Making a nightstand, doing all the sanding. That's going real good. You guys can see, this was a project we did. We're gonna redo it and um, it's pretty much, it's done. It was done last year, or a couple years ago we built this, but we brought it back in because we got an upgrade uh, bed for our, for our kids so they have more room in their room. And we're gonna redo this one and then sell it, uh, probably on Facebook, something like that. Um, but you guys can see, we don't have our blocks anymore. Uh, we're, we're moving along with the block project. Another thing that we're doing is this right here. We're getting another mold, a box, to go in here so that we can have two molds of the same uh, style so that we could work uh, simultaneously with the same block. So we could double our speeds, which is really, uh, really good. We need that. So we're excited about that. There's really not a whole lot more that we're gonna be doing today other than um, going back to Agua Viva to measure out, cut some of the trees down, uh, in that space that we were measuring this morning. Uh, but for the most part, I have to go to a funeral today uh, for Cesar's mom. So we're gonna basically be cutting this short, slightly, this this video slightly shorter today. But more than anything, I wanted you guys to see the carpentry shop, that cover from our last video updates, and um, make sure you guys kind of saw all the updates as we go. So hopefully next week, we'll be able to talk more about um, the, the leveling of the land and then see how much progress we can make in the week or two uh, from, that, from that time. So see you guys till next time.